What's up, you guys? I'm Lady Yoni. I know y'all haven't seen the page and stuff like that, but welcome to my live. This is probably like my second live on here, and last one I had deleted like a long time ago, so technically this is really like my first, first live. Y'all know I'm always on TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that, and if you don't know, now you do, boo. So, this is going to be about ovarian massages and womb yoga. But I want to give y'all like a like a back thing, back stands of like what is ovarian massages, what is womb yoga, how has it helped me, the importance of it, and all that stuff about womb wellness, okay? So, ovarian massages. Oh my gosh, you guys. When I started doing ovarian massages, it literally changed my life. And I think I started doing this probably like 2018, somewhere around that time. And I never heard of it. And I'm like, oh, very massage. I'm like, you can't massage your ovaries. And we're not necessarily massaging the ovaries, but we're massaging that area. And oh my gosh, I also started doing like breath work, like meditation with my ovaries and breathing into my ovaries, you guys. Changed my life. So some years ago, I I had like an ovarian cyst, right? Oh my gosh, it was very painful. I also had like painful menstruations. I had IBS. It was a lot, you guys. I had a lot of cramps going on. It was a lot. So I started looking to like, okay, what is womb wellness? How can I heal my womb? How can I um, naturally get rid of the ovarian cysts? How can I just get in touch with my womb and stuff like that? I was already on my journey of like doing yoga and meditation and healing and all these other things, but I never paid attention to my womb, girl. Never. My womb was in there screaming like, help me, please. And I was already eating healthy and all that stuff like that. But child, I was walking around with toxic Tony. Dirty Donnell, I was messing around with them all, girl. I was in them streets. Not really. But, I mean, I was still in there messing around with toxic people and still holding on to past pain, past relationships. I was in a domestic violent relationship. I had things going on when I was younger and stuff like that. It was all getting stuck in my wound. It was still like there and I wasn't really addressing it like I knew it was there and I'm like oh, okay I do here and there but I really wasn't going in until I really found out until I found out I was diagnosed with ovarian cysts and it was real painful and all these other things I was like let me get more in touch with my wound let me get my wound let me let me take this serious okay so I started taking this serious and I found about ovarian massages so what ovarian massages are it's basically like how you massage other parts of your body. It's very simple, it's very easy. Oh, y'all feel that wind? Mm. It's very simple, it's very easy. It's nothing hard and stuff like that. And it changed my life. And the importance of it is that in our ovaries, as women, we hold our essence in that area. You look into like the Taoist tradition, if you look into like ancient Eastern medicines and stuff like that, they talk about women reproductive system they talk about the ovaries talk about how we hold our essence in our ovaries and also like this sacral chakra um, energy and your sexuality and your creativity is all held right there it's like it's very important hey boo hey 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 it's very important to um get in cut touch with your ovaries and stuff like that right and so i was like let me do some very massages y'all it changed my life I, i'm keep i'm keep saying it changed my life throughout this whole life and it was it was a beautiful a beautiful experience and so we're gonna talk about we're gonna get into that really soon but then i want to talk about womb yoga so what womb yoga is something i really discovered on my own i was already doing yoga for like years but doing my womb healing journey I was like, what are some poses that I could do that um, that are specifically for the womb, that could open up my hips, because I realized I was like really holding in tight energy here. Um, I was always tightening up my vagina and stuff like that. <laughs> like seriously, like my vaginal muscles, I was always like holding it in and I was, didn't realize I was really holding a lot of anger in this over the years and stuff like that. And you know like how you hold a lot of tension in your shoulders and your muscles and stuff like that so you might be like this and you just gotta relax just relax or you might hold your jaw real tight don't realize it so i didn't realize this one day i was like i'm holding my vaginal muscles so tight 
so tightly and so then i began to just start to release and relax my vaginal muscles and my womb womb area muscles and stuff like that the pelvic floor muscles and things like that and i started getting to kegels and stuff and so that's how i came upon like let me do some poses that are just specifically for the womb that's gonna open up my my legs my hips open up all this area so get this energy flowing bro i was like So I picked like a lot of different poses, maybe about 20 different poses, and I was doing that over and over and over and over, and it changed my life. <laughs> it changed my life. It was so, so transformative. It was so beautiful, too. So I decided, come on live, let me show y'all. Let me put up a video and everything, and I'm also going to post more videos, you guys. So I need to start taking my YouTube presence a little bit more serious. So... Here we go. So we're gonna talk about some ovarian massages. Y'all ready? Let's go ahead and just get into just a couple of them, okay, bro? So the easiest way to find your ovaries is you wanna sit like this. Let's see, can y'all see me? Okay. You wanna put your hands into an upside down triangle like this. Meet your meet your thumbs and meet the tip of your fingers together. And you wanna meet them right at your belly button. Ooh, look at that foofa girl right at your belly button you want to meet your thumbs at your belly button and the tip of your finger should be right at the top of your vagina okay well, or right at the top of uh where she your fundus of fun fundus is of, of your uterus and stuff like that right and so when these come together where your pinkies are see where my pinkies are that's a, like a general area of where your ovaries are and what you want to start doing is take two fingers and you want to just kind of press in that area. It's a little crease too. And so that's where... Are you ready, boo? Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> and that's where um, you can find your ovaries at. And what we're going to do, is I'm just kind of pushing just a little bit with two fingers. See? See where I'm at? I'm not exactly where my vagina is. My vagina is more down down in here but right here is it's like a general area that little crease of where your ovaries would be at okay boo and so then we're gonna just go into circles and we're gonna go circles like this some deep circles but not too deep you don't want to be too hard on yourself okay some deep circles just like this 20 times going inward so we're gonna start you ready one two three and go one two you're making small circles small circles but deep deep enough but not too deep if it's hurting you please don't go too deep 10 11 12 13 14 y'all i'm at the party and there's some people watching me <laughs> they probably like that i can't play with my vagina mind your business that's all i want you to mind your business all right 20 so then we're gonna go to the other direction and one two Y'all, I've been doing this so much, I really starting to already feel the energy. Make sure you get up in that thing now. Get up in there. Don't get up in the moment now, boo. And it's this this position. Hold on. One, two, sixteen, and twenty. Okay. If this position is not comfortable for you, or you can't really see well see your ovaries that well you can sit on your legs like this or you can sit with your legs open more like this whatever is comfortable for you but for this video i'm gonna sit like this i'm gonna sit my legs just a little bit open so y'all can y'all can see everything so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some taps oh y'all my little my leg it's a little tense here hold on let me get it get it over oh you look tight huh I'm not working out, y'all. I was working out yesterday. She a little tight. So I'm going to get back like this. What we're going to do is some ovarian taps. It's my favorite. <laughs> now, it's going to look like I'm tapping on my pom pom, but I'm not tapping on my pom pom. I'm right in the little crease. My pom pom is down here. I'm right in the little crease, and we're going to do some taps. I had jokes in my body. Oh, yay. <laughs> and I know, I know you said you was urged to cry. Girl, go ahead and cry. Go ahead and let it out and 
just let all that flow because a lot of times when we are holding in that energy and we start moving that energy we're moving through those wound blockages that you probably that you probably have had for years or forever some time it may be something that happened some years ago when you was a little girl i tend to have issues like that um not issues just let me say more of um, an experience like that because we are holding in that energy and so when that energy is released you start to either you cry or you laugh or whatever type of emotion comes up i always say get deep into that emotion if there's like a, a memory that comes up remember that memory keep it in your journal by you um it's so key because then that's like key to like what energy that you're holding on to i had an experience like that not too long ago and it shocked the mess out of me it was something with my mom and stuff like that but it was like, yo, I don't even remember that when I was little. So, let the emotions cry. If you have an urge to cry or laugh or be happy, excited, whatever, let those emotions out. But make sure you don't hold into those emotions. Let it flow out. Let it flow out. But also understand, okay, this is what I need to focus on in my womb healing. Okay, boom? So, I'm happy for you. I'm really happy for you. Um... And that's good that and when you have jokes that mean that your energy is flowing that mean that your sacral chakra energy is moving and grooving so let's get into the next part okay so then we're gonna do some ovarian taps and it's really easy y'all and we're gonna do double taps like this now all you're gonna do is get to find that same area like this little triangle right at your um belly button and we're gonna do some taps you might have to lean back so you get really good in that thing it's gonna do some taps bop, 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 bop. I know it looks like I'm tapping on my own. My bone bone, but it's alright. It's alright. And see how we tapping right in that crease. You can also do this laying down on your back. Oh, I tend to do this laying down on my back. I tend to do my very massages, laying down on my back because um it's, I just find it so much easier to really get in there. And just be yeah. And then let's do it like this. Alternating, alternating open my legs on y'all oh y'all I feel it already make sure you breathe breathing sis make sure you're breathing inhale in slow exhale out slowly ah ooh. delightful marvelous darling marvelous oh I feel it I feel it oh let me lean back some you guys Yes, let that energy flow, you guys. And make sure you're not holding any, ten any tension. Check yourself. Check yourself to see if you're holding any tension in your vagina, if you're holding any tension in your crease here, your pelvic floor, and your hips, and your stomach. Make sure you're not sucking it in. Let that thing hang out and swing, okay, boo? Buzz it. I know that's right. Yes. Okay. So, ooh, I feel it, you guys. Ooh, let me get some water. I feel it coming. I feel it coming, baby. Mm. Okay, you guys. So next, ooh, next what I like to do is we're gonna take our thumbs and we're gonna find that little crease area. So what you want to do is go ahead and find, find where your ovaries start at again. And you're not actually touching your ovary. You're really touching the nerves and the blood vessels in that area. Also, your lymphatic system. You have a lot of lymphatic system, <laughs> lymphatic, lymph nodes in that area. And your lymph nodes help you release waste and stuff like that. And that was one of the other things that I had going on. One of my lymph nodes was swollen back in 2015 when I had ovarian cysts and I had um, IBS and menstrual cramp problems so i had a swollen lip node it wasn't too big but it was nice size and it was right there by where the doggone ovarian six was at so i had to massage that thing work that thing out so you getting like two three double the healing going on you're massaging your lip nodes because your lip nodes can't really release themselves or or flush themselves naturally they don't have a pump like your heart do to pump out the blood and plump, pump blood through your body you have to be moving for your lymphatic system to actually let go of waste so only way that you could do that is either working out a lot 
lot, moving a lot, walking a lot, and stuff like that, or also do massages. So what we're gonna do is take our thumbs first. Okay, first you're gonna find your um your ovaries again. Meet your thumbs at your belly button, and then find your pinkies. Find your pinky on your left or right side, whichever side you wanna work on first. Mine right there. And what we're gonna do? It was gonna get in that thing. Now you might feel a little a little pressure or something like that. Um, don't be too hard on yourself. Don't push in too hard. But push in enough now, okay, boo? And what we're gonna do is gonna do some deep. Oh, baby. <laughs> All right now, y'all. <laughs> get a little excited. When you start like massaging your ovaries and like open up those energy centers, baby. That that sensual, like sexual energy starting to move. Get a little excited. Okay. And we're just gonna do some deep massages just like that you could do one thumb but i like to do two of them just get in there we're just using our thumbs now ladies don't start massaging other things we ain't about a clitoria we over here at the ovaries now boo okay this ain't that type of video all right boo <laughs> all of a sudden your hand in the middle of your dog wait a minute now we on the side over here we on the side now go the other direction Make sure you're going in there deeply. If you're feeling like your, your hip bone, you're a little too far over. This is where my hip bone start. A little knob. Too far over. Come in a little bit. Too far over. Come in. All right. And what we're going to do is lean back and we're going to tap that area just like how we was doing before. But we're going to do it with one hand. We're going to do a little bit more bigger. A little bit more hard. Like bam, 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 bam. Yeah, like that, boo. Like that, like that, sis. I feel you, sis. Uh-oh. <laughs> A little song with the ovaries. All right, now we're going to do our other side. And we're going to find our ovary again, where your pinky's at, and push in there. Push in there and massage that thing, girl. Yeah. Like I said, if, you, if you're feeling like your bone go in a little bit more, you should feel like more of a muscle, a little muscly area. You shouldn't really feel bone. You might feel your lymph nodes and stuff like that. You might feel a little lump. You're like, what is that? It might be your lymph node. Because they're, they're a little lumpy. <laughs> a little lumpy. Oh, you want to go in the deep, sis. Deep. Nah, the best thing before you start doing these is to use the bathroom, girl. Because now I got to use the bathroom. <laughs> All right, now go to the other direction. And you see where I'm at, you guys. I'm really in the deep. Hold on. Little ant. In the deep. Like I said, be gentle. Be a little, be a little, a little, a little, a little rough, a little tough, a little, a little deep in there, okay? But don't hurt yourself, though. All right, now we're gonna stretch that leg out a little bit and we're gonna tap. Ooh, we get it in there, boo. We get it in there. Y'all, I feel so good. All right, all right. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna. We're just gonna start moving. We're gonna do use our thumbs like this, and we're gonna. I don't know what you call this. Rub it on down, but don't rub by your clitoris now. Okay, we not we not getting all excited like that. We just massaging the ovaries, and we're going down the crease, like down the crease. Bam, bam, bam. Like this, bam, and just moving that energy down. You not you really at the top of your um your poom poom. You're not even getting close to, to the little split. We're not even at the split, boo. If you at the split, you 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 a little too close, and you just move it in like that, you guys. Ooh. Now come in, come into the center. We were going down, and I want you to come into the center, like this across. I got these little pants on, so it's getting bunched up. Ah, you want to be in there deep. You want to be in there deep as possible. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our fists 
lean back a little bit. Like I said, this is very good if you're laying back on your stomach, I mean on your back. Get in there, you might be a little reclined. Get you a little, a little pillow. Mm. And massage those things. Yeah, just start freestyling. Just start getting in touch with your ovaries. Just say, I love my ovaries. My ovaries are healthy. I love my ovaries. Ovaries are healthy. Ooh. And just start to feel your ovaries. All right. So the next thing we're going to do, we are done with massages. We're just going to be doing some breath work. Easy peasy breath work. And all you're going to do, if when I say inhale, you're going to inhale into your ovaries. And you're going to imagine some healing light, healing energy going into your ovaries. Slowly inhale. And as you're inhaling, imagine healing light going into your ovaries. And when you exhale, slowly exhale and imagine all the, the yuck and the, the, the trauma and the pain coming out of your ovaries and out and if you're outside what i like to do is when i exhale and doing like energy work like this i will send that energy that negative energy coming out of my ovaries into the earth and so it can be transformed but if you're not outside if you're inside your home what you imagine is that that energy is leaving outside your ovaries and being transformed into positive healthy beautiful energy don't bring it back to yourself but just as it leaves out your body you imagine it transforming from negative energy to positive energy. Because you don't want nobody else to pick up that energy, boo, okay? Or you don't want to recycle it back. So, <laughs> energy is energy, boo. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate before we start. So, I'm inhaling in. And then I exhale out. And I'm inhaling into my ovaries. Imagine this healing, beautiful white light. And I'm exhaling out my ovaries. All the negativity, the wound trauma, all that. Into the earth and being transformed. Oh, ooh. Ooh. Hey, earth. What's up, girl? I feel you now. All right, y'all. Y'all ready? Also, if you want to say like affirmations, I love my ovaries. I am healing my ovaries. My ovaries are healthy. Um, especially if you have like ovarian cysts other things going on and stuff like that this is so great other female reproductive issues here we go okay boo so if you want to say affirmations you can so slowly and you can put your hands right here so you can feel that area slowly inhale into your ovaries and exhale out oh, and i'm sorry you're inhaling into your nose even though we're, we're imagining that energy coming in you inhale into your nose and when you exhale you exhale out your mouth okay so inhale into your nose but also <laughs> inhale into your ovaries and exhale out your ovaries inhale that beautiful healing energy into your ovaries And exhale out the negativity. All right, let's do it again. Inhale into your ovaries. And exhale out. And put your hands on your ovaries and your womb. And say, I love my ovaries. I love my ovaries. I love my womb. I am healing my ovaries. I am healing my womb. I am healing this space. I have healthy ovaries. I have healthy womb. My womb is happy. My womb is healthy. My womb is free. I love my womb. Eee, I 
Okay, you guys, let's get into like some of my favorite womb yoga poses. And yes, if you have had like a hysterectomy, partial hysterectomy, and you actually don't have ovaries or a womb, I should have said this in the beginning of the video, you still can do this because it's all about that energy there. Because a lot of times, energy can be placed and stored anywhere. So a lot of times, if we still, if you went through like a surgery uh, procedure, excuse me, surgical procedure, you still have that one divine feminine energy within you and also that area there that could still be holding in on to some things okay boo so i should have said that at the beginning of the video but i did so my ba girl this is my first life okay so what we're we gonna do next baby poses first one it's called a pigeon pose y'all it's so easy oh felt a lot of release that is good that is good that is good i'm so happy for you you gonna make me cry girl that's good. And I feel it too. Like every time I do like ovarian massages and like breathe, especially breathing into my oh my gosh, breathe into my womb. Oh, it's so it's so free. So what we're gonna do is the pigeon pose, and you're gonna take one leg, turn a little bit. Oh that girl thick. You're gonna take one leg and you're gonna bend it this way. And you're gonna have your other leg extended out. And so I'm kind of at an angle so y'all can see everything what's going on. Y'all see that fitness girl been in the gym now. <laughs> okay. And so what I love about this pose is that it opens up that op that area, um, bottom area. Uh, what I'm trying to say? Your pelvic floor. There we go. Your pelvic floor area. And a lot of times, like I said, we hold tension down there. If you have feminine, if, in, um, feminine reproductive issues, like for me, it was menstrual cramps. Oh my gosh, and PMS. But I didn't realize the whole time I'm just holding my pelvic floor muscles, my vaginal muscles so tight that that's why I started to cause issues until I started to release and relax and do Kegels. We might do some Kegels. That's a good idea. We're going to do some Kegels. All right, so first we're just going to lay like this, y'all. And then you're going to come down and lay, 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 lay down like this. Like this, like that. <laughs> like this like that now if it's a little tight it's a little little too much for you you know you don't have to come all the way down find what's comfortable for you and also just working to get into like you know the advanced yoga poses and stuff like that you can also research these poses and things it's called the pigeon pose i don't know the sanskrit word of these poses so y'all don't ask me because i will mess them up <laughs> okay hey girl <laughs> all right so then what we're gonna do is come up and we're gonna grab our leg our are we gonna grab the leg that's already out extended and you're gonna go on the part where your leg is bent you're gonna turn to the area to the space to the side where your leg is bent and you're gonna grab that back leg like that boo now like i said now it's a little too much a little too much tension relax i don't want you to be hurting yourself this is about releasing this is about relaxing but it's also about you know get it in there get it in there but take your time don't hurt yourself don't hurt yourself and what you could do is you could bend forward a little bit bend backwards you know the different things boo and make sure you're breathing key thing with yoga is breath work you're inhaling in and what i like to do when i'm doing yoga inhaling through my nose exhaling out my nose so i'm slowly doing i'm slowly doing those okay let's release that leg and let's get on the other one get on the good foot oh baby and as y'all can see sometimes Pigeon pose, you might see the leg a little bit more forward. That's let's put a little bit more pressure. So if you're not, you know, if you're not keen to that, you know, you can bring it under your leg a little bit more. So, so it won't hurt, boo. Take your time. Take your time. This is a journey. It's not a race. Look at me sounding all profound. <laughs> all right, you're gonna come down a little bit. Get that little stretch on a little bit more. Hey, love. How do you say your name? If if I'm not mistaken, aren't you the sister that I had a con um 
consultation with some like ooh, what, two years ago. This name's this. Let me look at the picture. I can't really. Uh, uh, how did you say? Uh, so I said my time. I can't see how to say it. Um, t let me see. Let me try. How do you say your name, love? Oh, hey. I, you know what's funny? <laughs> I was like, that name look familiar. And I'm like, maybe not on YouTube. <laughs> I just didn't know. I, like, not on YouTube. And I'm like, that can't be her. And then I'm looking, I'm like, nah, that got to be her. That got to be her. How do you, it sounds like, Dile? Tyle? Tyle? Oh, I should remember by when we got off live, not live, when we got off FaceTime, okay, you guys, you're going to turn over and grab that leg like that. Hey, Tyle, is, I'm saying it right? Tyle, Tyle, yeah. Oh, that was a great experience um, when we had our consultation. I haven't had much consultation, like I did consultations for like three months. I had a few people. And I start, and I've been having a lot of people ask me to start back. I, I've been thinking about it. I sure been thinking about it. And I thought about you, too. I was like, that was a great conversation. Because it helped me, too, with certain things that, um, you know, just having conversations with other people. And hearing their story it can help you on your healing journey as well. It's spelled T, so I was like, oh, but it sounds like, oh, 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 okay. So it's, so it's, it's dilay. Dilay. Beautiful. Is that like um, Japanese culture? Um, Japanese language? Like how some people say Taoism versus this is really Taoism. I had said that earlier and I want, want to make sure. All right, you guys, let go of that, that leg. And you're going to come up like this. I want to make sure I said it right. Ooh. Well, you might feel a little something. Shake, shake it up, shake it up. Oh, so many. Oh, okay, okay, great. Oh, love it, I love it, I love it. Hey, boo. <laughs> All right, so next, what we're gonna do is gonna do the butterfly. Now, we ain't gonna do the dance, <laughs> we're gonna do the yoga pose. Anybody who remember that dance, the butterfly? Uh oh, that's old. Let me see. Oh, that's two zero. Same thing. Y'all know the butterfly back in the 90s. <sighs> If y'all ain't a 90s baby or 90s and back, then y'all don't know what I'm talking about, the butterfly. But it was a dance where I forgot how it went. I know the Tootsie Roll was like, you know, you Tootsie Roll. I forgot how the butterfly went. Somebody tell me how the butterfly went. Somebody send me a video of the butterfly. But we're doing the yoga pose, butterfly, y'all. We finna take off. <laughs> we gonna take off. All right, so what you're gonna do is put your feet together like this. Bam. And you're gonna grab your feet. Now, if this is a little too much, a little too much tension here, make sure you're breathing. Don't be like, ah, ah, this hurt. Relax, relate, release. If it's still too tight, take your time and get into that type of pose. But this is one of my favorite ones to open it up. All this, all this going on down here, you need to have that energy flowing, open up them legs, and release all that tension that we may have going on down there, boo. Now, the bottom of my feet dirty, y'all, I've been out here outside walking barefoot. You know, I love the earth. You saw my video earlier. I be earthy, y'all. So, uh, you're going to grab your feet like this and lock in your fingers and bring them towards you. Now, if it's too much, don't do too much. And all we're going to do is like this. Yeah, we about to take off. Make sure you're relaxing, relating, and releasing. <laughs> you're not holding no tension this is all about relaxing the pelvic floor muscles it's about relaxing your womb relaxing your vajayjay -jay. now if you feel the sign of your vagina that is tight relax boo inhale into your vagina and just relax okay don't hold it too tight don't hold it tight at all unless you want that thing <laughs> Y'all know I'm a hot mess. And you're gonna keep going like this. Put a little vigor into it. A little, a little bit more. You wanna come forward with it? Come forward with it. You know, if you flexible like that, go ahead, boo. Ah, but this helps open up your hip flexors. Hip flexors. 
help open up all of this area, you guys. One of the main things I realized, like, a lot of women who have womb health issues, excuse me, womb health issues or reproductive issues and things of that nature is because we are not opening up that energy down there. That energy is not flowing right. It's an imbalance. All right, so now we're going to relax. And just relax. If you want to bend down some, bend look forward, open it up more. Because you're going to feel it right here. You're going to feel it all up in there and a little bit up in these thighs too, boo. All right. So, next one's a little hard. But this is one of my favorite ones that I want to make sure I share with you guys. Some of my favorite, favorite poses for womb yoga and for womb health and things of that nature. And normally when I'm doing my womb yoga, I'm picking out different poses that I'm doing um, that is spe specifically for the area here. And I'm just flowing. I'm just flowing with myself. So the next one is called the frog pose or the swat, oh, the, the frog pose or the squat pose. I'm talking about squat. Squat, so you're gonna squat on that thing, girl. You're gonna squat on that thing, bring it back some. So what you're gonna do is you look like a frog. That's why it's called the frog pose too. And you're on your toes. Now, the key thing is to getting on the bottom of your feet. And I'm going to show y'all. You got to come out a little bit more. Come out a little bit more. Now, this is going to be real tight for some ladies. Now, if it's too tight for you, find the different ways. You could come up like this. Find different variations that you could do that's, um, that's comfortable for you. Like I said, we ain't doing all that. Get in there and be too hard on yourself. Be rough with it relax relate release take your time okay oh so much joy and spontaneous <laughs> oh thank you that's great that's great all right so what you want to do if your feet can't all the way touch the ground that is fine that is fine i'm gonna do like this so y'all can see and you're gonna touch the bottom of your feet and you're gonna hang out just like this and make sure you're relaxing Check your booty muscles, because a lot of times I be tensing up my booty muscles. Don't even be realizing it when I'm in this pose. We ain't here trying to twerk. Relax your booty muscles. Relax your with JJ. Just relax yourself. Relax your shoulders. Relax your back. Bam, bam. Relax. Bounce around. Make sure you are relaxed. Oh, yes, yes, darling. Yes, darling. Marvelous, darling. Now, you could kind of scoot out a little bit. Scoot, scoot. Get your feet all the way down. And what you're going to do is come here and put your hands together. Now, this is definitely a little tension, okay? It's a little, it's a little much. So, brace yourself. If you find like this is too hard, come up a little bit. You could squat like that. All right, let's come out of it, you guys. So what you're going to do is just come down like this and slowly bring it. Oh, don't fall out now, girl. <laughs> don't fall out. We're like, oh, these are hard. They're a little, they're a little tough, but they're good for you. So I'm going to do another pose that you're going to like. I think it's called the child pose, you guys. I'll just call it sit on that thing. <laughs> I have my own little ghetto little yoga pose names. I'd be like, uh-uh, it's called the sit on that thing. Hence the name. I'm gonna come closer. Hence the name. Sit on that thing. And we'll, but it's this, this is definitely called the child pose. What we're gonna do is open up our legs, and our feet are right up under our legs, like this. Man. And then you're gonna come forward. And you're gonna put your hands under your chin like this. And we're gonna chill out like this. Chill out just like this. This is one of my favorite ones, you guys. This, oh, like I said, it's open up those um, hip flexors. Boom! It's open up all this area down here. It's let allowing that energy to flow. You could also be doing like your um, breathing into your ovaries or breathing into your womb, your vajayjay, all that, boo. All You just want to make sure you are relaxed. Now, the next thing you can do is come all the way down. Ooh. But if it's too much for you, boo, don't go all the way down. You know, you can lift up a little bit. If it's like, oh, it's hurting my ankles. You know, give, give yourself some room.
Make sure you're breathing slowly. Make sure you're not holding tension. And come up. Oof. You definitely going to feel it in this. This is a great pose that I use. I started doing this pose when I used to like, get, when I used to. <laughs> I've been practicing celibacy for a long time, you guys. Almost a year. 11 months today. Okay. Oh. So, um, what I was about to say is that I used to practice this pose before I used to get my little freak on. You know, so you could be losing, get no manganese, so you could squat on that thing and be like, bam, 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 wah, 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 you know. Be on that thing. Now come up slowly, because you're going to be like, ooh, ah. Ooh, ooh, cha. All right. Oh, how y'all feeling? Ooh. We're going to do a couple more poses, and that's it, boo. It's not that much. It's a, it's a lot of more poses that you can also do, but I just want to show you my favorite ones. This next one is, I don't know. I think it's called The Boat. The Boat. See, I don't, I just learned the name of this one. I just used to call this <laughs> The Pussy Popper. The pussy popper. Y'all, I remember one time I was teaching yoga and they was like, what's the name? I, like, I could not think of the name of this pose. And I'm like, we finna do the pussy popper. They like, the what? You better find out. <laughs> you better find out. Open up. That's good. Dale. That's good. I love that name. That's so cute. All right. So the next one is also called the boat pose. And what we're going to do, we're going to hold our feet. Now, this is a little tough. If you want to put something behind you to hold you up, like a pillow or lay back on your couch or your bed or whatever like that so you can hold yourself up because this is a good balancing pose to do but it's also for we finna open we finna open up our legs to the world well not literally but figuratively <laughs> open our legs up to the world open our vajayjays you want to make sure those that whole area down there that girl is spling splah hello we to make sure we're opening her up and relaxing the tension in our in our position. So what we're gonna do is kind of like how we did the butterfly pose. We grabbing our feet and let's take it slow. We're just gonna lift one leg up, okay? And you're gonna lift one leg up like this. And I know some of y'all was like, oh girl, that's too advanced. Like I said, boo, you could put a couch behind you, some pillow, lean back. Or if you can't do it all the way, just do one leg at a time like this. Let's do the other leg, cause we gon' we gon' get into that thing, dude. When you gonna practice like this? And don't be saying I can't, I can't, I can't all the time. Yes, you can. It takes time. I, I it was a hard time for me starting out. But one thing I do not say is I can't. So I, don't, I bet not hear none of y'all who watching, rewatching this video, who I send this video to. I can't, I can't, cause spirit gonna tell on you. Your Yoni gonna tell me she up here talking about I can't, I can't, I can't. No, yes you can. Work yourself. Don't push yourself too hard. This is a journey, girl, not a race. Like I said, now get into this womb healing. All right. Now we gonna take both legs and we gonna we kind of like sitting. We sitting on our butt like that. And we balance that, whatever we got a pillow or whatever. And then we're just going to slowly open them girls. Open them up, ooh, like you're having a baby, boo. And you're going to do like this. Y'all see that? Now this is a, ooh, it's one of my favorites. It's called the boat pose. Or like I like to call it the pee popper. Head down, pussy, pussy, baby. Uh-oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, y'all. Yeah, every time I say a word, I be thinking of a song. I always got a song for something, some kind of phrase or whatever. So, uh, you don't always have to have your legs up. If it's hurting too much, relax. All right. But this is definitely a balancing pose, so you have to calm your mind. So, let me calm down. Okay. And what you could do is reach that head back like that. Relax those muscles. Oh, yes. Yeah. And if you like to do like, um, what would you call it? I forgot. With sun or moon ba bathing, which basically like you're allowing the sun energy or the full moon. Oh, it's a full moon tonight too. So y'all could do this under the full moon and allow the full moon to come into your, into your girl, into your. I like to call it Candace. Ooh, ooh, y'all be careful now. Be careful. I warned you. Don't get pregnant now. Don't get pregnant. I hear the next version of Mary or whatever. Don't get pregnant now. I love doing sunbathing. 
or Yoni Bay, Yoni Yoni Sun Bay. I think that's what it's called. I'm gonna post about it, y'all. I'm gonna post about it in the community thing, so y'all know. So I was supposed to do it yesterday. I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow or something like that. Or maybe tonight. I post about it tonight, y'all. But yeah, it's a full moon tonight, so I'm gonna be like this at the full moon, allowing that full moon energy to come right into my to my womb. That's a whole nother video. That's a whole nother video. We have to talk about like the moon energy and allowing the moon to come into your womb. That's a whole nother video, but all right. So the next one I like to do, uh, oh, y'all, I don't forgot what the next one was. And we was going to do, I do want to do the headstand. Cause like I said about the limp nose, it's like doing a headstand or doing inverted poses, um, is, or your lymphatic system, excuse me. It's a good way to help your lymphatic system move. So also with walking and running and working out and stuff like that, massages, also turning your body upside down and allowing your lymphatic system to ease on down to move your lymphatic system. Oh wait, this one fun, yes! That's one of my favorite ones, that's one. You wanna get that, get that going, get it out there. Yes, I remember now. Oh. Ooh, so the next one we're gonna do, it's a little twerk move. It's a little twerk move. We might do two more after this, actually, because I want to do something for the knees, too, that I like to do, but it's also, of course, for the womb. This one is called the um, cat cow, but we're not actually doing cat cow. We're more just doing like a, it's not the yoga pose. We're mostly doing like a dance move of it. And, uh-oh, somebody kids coming out here. Let me hurry up, y'all. <laughs> Gonna go let that girl over there twerking. Mind your business. That's all. Just mind your business. And what the cat cow is is like when you do the cat part, you're inhaling in like this, and then you do the cow. And so what we're gonna do is just basically we're not doing a cat cow. We're just gonna pop our back in and out like that in and out. Ooh, somebody child coming. Let me turn this way. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> All right, because I don't want to be like, why that girl over there? You, you know how some people be, y'all. So you're going like this, in. And we really, we're really, we really moving our backs and really putting arches in our backs. So let me show y'all again. Is that when you are popping, like you pop back, you really want to do that arch very well right here. Arch your back. And then we come in. And then, ah, in, and then, ah. It is the cat pole, cat cow, but we're not really doing the breathing because we're going to go faster. Like this. Ooh, girl. Like that. And you're going to work. And you're going to work. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Y'all, y'all know I'm so goofy. I be trying to turn down my goofiness. Oh, and you go, you go faster like this. You know, pop that thing back. Ladies, y'all know what I'm talking about. If you with your, your boo thing or whatever you got going on in the bedroom, you popping that thing. Bam, 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 bam. But make sure you're moving that back in and out. You go slow. You go fast. Let me show y'all again. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Bam, 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 bam. In and out. Ooh, in and out. In and out. Now, if you go slow, inhale in, exhale out. It's called a cat cow, but it's not like, we're not doing the traditional way. Because what I like to do is put a little vigor to it. I like to do a little twerk. But my womb yoga, I do a little bit more twerking, y'all. So I do have a class coming out very soon. So y'all stay tuned for the class. It's like a twerking yoga type class that I always did. And I never realized that how many, so many people was like, what you do like on a daily basis? Or like what you do to prepare yourself for, you know, a little date night or something like that or whatever. And so I have like a, a whole little thing I've been doing for years. And it's, it's like yoga, it's like twerking. We're doing Kegels. Oh, we ain't doing no Kegels too. So here go the next pose and then we're going to do some Kegels, y'all. And then we're going to be done. All right. Next pose is a handstand. Now, this one is very hard. This one is very hard. So, take your time. If you're not there yet, you're not there yet. But I want to do something that's definitely inverted for you guys because I love doing inverted poses, like I said, about your lymphatic system so you can let go of the waist and help your waist um, release out your body. But also, doing inverted poses is good for your womb, for your bottom and stuff like that, your bottom chakras, all your chakras, really. So, 
I'm just gonna do it. It's really not part of it, but if you want to do it, do it. Take your time. It's called a headstand. Um, I'm also gonna be using my hands. So basically, I'm gonna turn to the side so y'all can see. Basically, you're gonna grab your hands like this and you're gonna make a triangle. A triangle, and you're gonna put your head right in the center of that triangle, but you wanna put them like right by your head. So just like this. Can y'all see that? Okay. <laughs> and then you're gonna lift up and you're gonna take your time. What I also like to do is open up my legs. Okay, I hope you guys saw that good. If not, practice on your handstands. Like I said, it's great for your lymphatic system. Ooh. And you can really feel it a lot. What I like to do every day, sometimes I don't do it, but definitely when I'm doing yoga, I at least do that pose, upside down, inverted pose for at least a minute, at least a minute each time. I like to try to do it every day, but sometimes I don't. <laughs> Um, but it's really good to at least put your body um, in an inverted position for like a minute or so like that every day to get your lip at it moving and stuff like that, especially if you did not work out today. All right, so let's do some kegels. <laughs> let's do some kegels. Kegel time. I don't like to say kegels either, but I know that's like a popular name. I, I like to call them the yoni grips. So we're going to do some yoni grips. Yoni grips. Okay, so let's talk about kegels slash yoni grips. Matter of fact, no, Yoni grips slash Kegels. And I don't like to call them Kegels because a man I had um, created it and named after himself. You know how it be. So I was like, no, we don't call them Yoni grips. <laughs> um, so what are Yoni grips? Basically, you are squeezing and releasing, squeezing and releasing your vaginal muscles. Now, this is so, 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 so important with womb healing. It's so important. Like I said, we, we hold a lot of tension, hold a lot of things going on in our wombs. And so, tension, relaxation. Tension, relaxation. We don't want to always be in tension. We want to relax, relate, release. But we also want to be able to tense and move our muscles, okay? And so, basically, what you would do is... Um, we're gonna do, how many are we gonna do? Let's do 50. Normally I do like 50 if I'm doing a cycle. And I've been doing a cycle for the last, what, week now? And I've been doing 50 Kegels a day. And so, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do 50. No, we're gonna do 25. Let's do 25 and later on by yourself tonight under the full moon. If you're gonna go out on the full moon or wherever you're gonna do the night, boo, do your 25 kegels because we're gonna do something very simple very easy easy and now if you already are too tense down there you don't want to do too many kegels too many yoni grips if you already like have a really tight vagina and it's, it's so tight and some women have issues like that talk to your pelvic floor um practitioner talk to your 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 physician your gyno and stuff like that because i don't want you to be doing too much but you already know where you at, so let's get into it. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep the time. You only grip. Give me 25 grips right now. Bam. One, two, three. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna go really slow. And we're gonna go inhale in. When we inhale in, we're squeezing. And then when we exhale, we're relaxing. When we inhale, we're gonna squeeze. Exhale, we're gonna relax. Don't squeeze too hard. Just nice squeeze and then relax. Okay, boo? Find a good position. You want to sit up right, up right like this, or you want to lay down, whatever's comfortable for you. I like to kind of lean back a little bit. Whew. And let me relax my legs. And you might see it in the video too, but <laughs> okay. So, and um, you could do your your vajayjay muscles. You could also do like your your anal. Well, ooh, I don't know if I can say the word. 
Your booty muscles. Um, your booty hole muscles. <laughs> I don't know what word I can say on on you on YouTube. That won't tag me. Um, you can also do like your um, your entire pelvic floor. You could do diff there's different levels of doing Kegels slash yoni grips. If you're just doing it for your vagina, there's like different levels. If your vagina looks like Hmm. Your vagina looks like this. This is the front of it, and this is to your 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 cervix. You could have doing Kegels just in this area in the front of your vagina, or in the middle of your vagina, or right at kind of close to your cervix. It, you'll feel it once you start playing around with Kegels and yoni grips. You'll feel like, oh, I could grab grip deeper. Like this is a different part of my muscle. Like versus sucking in at the top, the bottom of your stomach versus at the top of your stomach, or something like that. It's kind of like the same thing. It's it, it's different parts of your muscles that's connected to this and that and this and that all that okay so we're gonna do 25 and we're gonna do it real real nice and slow and start and you're gonna inhale in and when you inhale you're gonna squeeze and you're gonna relax okay here we go inhale in squeeze and then relax inhale in squeeze and then relax Okay, whatever you're at, whatever number you're at, I'm at 10 right now. Let's do let's do 10 going fast. Because I don't want to do too many slow ones and stuff like that. So we did some 10 slow ones. Let's do some fast ones. What we're going to do is poof, poof, poof. We're going to pump it. Pump it like that. And we're going to be inhaling. And you watch, just be mindful of your breath. But we're going to do some fast ones, okay? And just all you're going to do is like this. Uh, uh. Okay, let's start. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so the last five we're gonna do, we're gonna go real slow. We're gonna hold it in for a little bit longer. So when we inhale, we're gonna hold it and then we're gonna release. So follow along with me. Inhale in, squeeze, hold it, hold it, hold it, and relax. Inhale in, squeeze, hold it, hold it, hold it, and relax. Three more. Inhale in. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and relax. Two more. Inhale in. Ooh, hold that thing, girl. And relax. And last but not least, <laughs> last one. Inhale in. Squeeze your vagina muscles. Hold it, hold it, and relax. Ooh. I know your girl is singing. <laughs> I know that cat like meow, <laughs> meow. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I had fun. Oh my gosh. So if anybody's watching this back, comment. Let me know how you feel. Boo. How was the ovarian massages? How was the yoga? How was the Kegel slash and yoni grips, baby, baby? I feel good. I feel amazing. I'm going to go do some earthing. I'm going to go do some uh, some walking. I have to do like three mile walks. So, yes, you guys. Yes, yes. <laughs> I know. Meow. Right here. Oh, it's a big hawk. Just, just flew by. Oh, my gosh, you guys. And that was a symbol from spirit. Because that's one of my spirit animals. I always see them. I love hawks, too. So, what's up, honky? <laughs> and I never heard a hawk sound like that. If y'all heard that noise, it was so beautiful. Um, thank you so much. Exactly what I need today. Oh, thank you, Dale. Thank you for tuning in. I love you. I love you. Many loves and wishes and happiness and healing and blessing on your womb healing journey, sis. Keep pushing. Keep going. Keep connecting. Keep healing. Keep releasing. And bring in that love. Allow yourself to love. You guys, you know what I say at the end of every single live. Oh, well, this is YouTube. What I say at the end of all my lives on TikTok, Instagram, drink some water. 
Ladies, drink some water and also eat some fresh fruit. I always say this daily. At the end of all my lives, all my videos, drink some water, eat some fresh fruit, some fresh vegetables, and also don't call Toxic Tony. And no, Toxic Tony's not just a man's a Toxic Tony. It's whoever you've been dealing with that's toxic. Especially you've been allowing them in your coon coon. Heal that thing. Let them go. Don't call. Don't text him. Dirty Donnell, Toxic Tony, Patty Paul, whatever their names are. Focus on your healing today. Today is a full moon. Get up on that full moon. Look into what moon ga moon gazing. That's another thing. I'm gonna do that tonight. Moon gazing and look up to sun, moon um, bathing, and just allow that moon energy to come into your womb and do some healing. Okay, boo. What I said, drink water, eat some fresh fruit, some fresh veggies. Don't call Toxic Tony. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Comment below. Let me know how to how it went. Cause meow, meow. I love you.